First on the U.S. Army veteran has been charged and arrested in California over an alleged bomb plot. According to the Justice Department, the 26-year-old was planning a massacre on Christians and Jews. Caleb Mopin has the story for you. Federal officials have raised an indictment for an individual who was just arrested named Mark Stephen Domingo. Now, this is a U.S. Army veteran who served in Afghanistan and is now charged with attempting to carry out a large-scale terrorist attack as revenge for the incidents in New Zealand. The shootings in New Zealand at the mosques that killed a number of individuals, that apparently motivated Mark Stephen Domingo to plan to carry out a terrorist attack in Los Angeles and take the lives of scores, possibly hundreds, of individuals. Now, here is some of what the indictment says. In online posts and in conversations with an FBI source, Domingo expressed support for violent jihad, a desire to seek retribution for attacks against Muslims, and a willingness to become a martyr, according to the affidavit. Following an attack on a mosque in New Zealand on March the 13th, Domingo posted, there must be retribution. Now, the FBI says it used confidential human sources to acquire information about Domingo. Essentially, it began when he was posting on Internet forums, calling for revenge and retribution for the New Zealand attacks. Um, and from what we understand, federal officials first began talking with him on the Internet. Then they set up in-person meetings. In those meetings, uh, he expressed a desire to attack a rally that was set to take place in California. He purchased hundreds of nails, and these nails were apparently to be used in an improvised explosive device. Uh, they were to be shrapnel that would then be detonated and kill everyone in attendance if possible. Um, now, from what we understand, uh, he is now in the hands of federal officials and he will soon be appearing in federal court to face charges for planning this large-scale terrorist attack. Now, uh, people are looking at these incidents, the, the shooting in Christ Church in New Zealand, uh, the recent incidents at synagogues across the United States, the attacks that have taken place in churches, and noticing a disturbing trend where places of worship seem to be targeted by those intending to carry out terrorist attacks and acts of religiously motivated violence. So we'll be waiting to see what happens next as the individual, Mark Stephen Domingo, 26 years old, U.S. Army veteran, uh, is set to face these charges after being apprehended. Yeah, Caleb Mopin reporting there from the state. So Mark Stephen Domingo is alleged to have said he would swear allegiance to ISIL if the group were in the United States. This comes amid growing international fears about planned ISIL terror attacks potentially. Brian Terrell from the Voices for Creative Nonviolence told us these threats are an inevitable outcome of the US military activity abroad. This is uh, most likely a post-traumatic stress of the of of this war, and also it's the the the, the training that that uh, that he received. A report came out that the uh, United States and its Afghan allies are killing more people than the Taliban. It uh, shouldn't be a surprise. It's that that he is acting as he was trained. You know, the, the horror of this of these wars. Uh, can't be kept at arm's length. It can't be kept in South Asia. It can't be kept in, in the Middle East. Uh, we will be suffering here in this country the, the effects of training people to kill and uh, putting them in situations that are absolutely inhuman.